We've made it to the sea. Again. I feel like so much is going to happen so quickly as we near the end of the season. There's just so much to wrap up. And we can't even get to Eren yet, because first we have to fight our fellow countrymen, who look very heavily armed. Flock is a man with a mission. I mean, say what you will about the guy. He's driven. We have the element of surprise and also people not caring about us. <laughs> it's tough. It's so perfect though. It's so great. It's like simultaneously hits the notes of we're a ragtag crew with no chance and also we're like the most awesome crew of all time. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what you want, right? You want all sides to be as amazing as they possibly can be. And just looking at this crew, man, it's something else, especially with their history. It's sort of unreal how much is behind each person and their interdynamics and their personal histories and it's just a lot. It's overwhelming. <laughs> Yeah, this is the mission before the mission. Clouds. <laughs> I don't know what, what I'm looking at. <laughs> I don't want this season to end. I don't want the show to end. Please, never end. What's Aaron up to? <laughs> How's Aaron? How's Aaron doing, I wonder? What's he doing? Just like stomping around out there? Must be lonely. Which actually maybe creates an opportunity. Like, they're hoping to get to him without killing him. Or at least Mikasa is and Armin. Aaron doesn't feel strong in this. I'm not at all for his plan. On some level though, I'm still there for Aaron as like this lost boy, you know, who was sort of lost and never had the opportunity to find his feet before he got this unbelievable power and responsibility. I mean, the darkness has always been there even before the power acquisitions, but that's not the whole story. You know, I think Aaron's best thing, most redeeming quality has been his ability to form bonds with his friends. And so just imagining suddenly for no reason in particular, Aaron just like whomping around as this giant, ugly, massive bone by himself feels like there would be a weakness there that could be reached. It's not like there's no hope for him, even though it's, uh, it's tough. <laughs> it's, at this point, although like the rumbling has begun, but there might still be a little time before the colossal titans reach the shores of other nations. Traitor. Uh oh. Hope that's not on our side. <laughs> Did I just say our side? What have I become? I'm sorry, Asayama. Arminus seems somewhat reluctant to use his colossal powers for good reason. That's really difficult. They can't just be sitting around unpacking this thing. This could end up end with us getting our airship in Disc 4. This is beautiful, even if it seems stupid. And they know it, too. Look at their faces. <laughs> See, we didn't hash out all of our beef over Hanji Stu. So this exact thing is the challenge of like getting one higher than the way most people have been operating throughout the show. If there are certain lines you're not willing to cross, you are immediately at a tactical disadvantage. And the way most people process that is if those things seem challenging or have too great of a risk and everyone sort of has like an internal mechanism for assessing that risk, then there's no choice. And that is understandable. And even the characters making the argument that they want to avoid loss of life know that and know it's ridiculous on some level. But that is sort of what makes it appealing to me. Now, the reason why it's partly ridiculous is because there's a large chance it fails and if it fails all of their moral qualms and desires to do good are sort of irrelevant towards their goals their objective has very real consequences and so the goal is not just goodness but it's also not just winning if i'm looking for something to inspire me i'm looking for something where the people are good and strong and righteous and are victorious that's like the highest i've been talking about a related issue in other arenas of my life where the scope of conversation i have with just about everyone in problematic areas of my life comes down to solely what is best for me and i 100 am on board with those conversations and don't even disagree with the things people are telling me but there's something in me that feels there's some other side of the equation lacking and that's that you would hope ideally there's something else guiding you than just your subjective self-interest there's got to be a code of some kind there's got to be something that is not 
not your choice. Otherwise, you run the risk of sort of having no boundaries on your own personal action and also a moving target. Because if you're aiming to do something like what's best for yourself, I don't even know what's best for myself circumstantially. And there's always going to be a risk that my targets are somewhat jeopardized by just what's going on internally. Ideally, in my opinion, there's some higher guideline or some higher set of boundaries that give a certain range to your actions, which I think actually gives you more freedom, not less, because you're not just at the whim of like whatever your fancies are at that moment. And I would argue that on some instinctual level, people are looking for that. You know, people are looking for things that they can really count on that are not just at their sole discretion, you know, something that they can be in service to or be in action towards, something that supports one's actions and gives one a sense of place. For example, one of the things holding them back right now is this idea of like the value of life. What are they fighting for otherwise? If they're making this sort of mental calculus where disposing of these lives helps more lives, then that is a solid argument on that side, but it's missing that contextualized force without which means they're doing a similar calculus as those they're opposing. Pink does not give a crap though. <laughs> Connie's back, everyone. Connie's back. And it feels good. Feels good, man. Think back and reflect on your shoulder pats. But it would be unsatisfying if the solution is for them to sit back and watch their comrades get killed by Annie. <laughs> they might have if they were born in the same place. He's taking some action instead of, you know, sleeping. The real danger is global warming. No. I thought we had more time. Yeah, it took them eight years to get out of the, the island, and then like two seconds to get across the ocean. So uh, yeah, that mission's going real well so far. Step one: kill a captive. She's sort of the, the Kimberly of this moment. Just wants to be around to see the immortals do their stuff. Gabby's having to climb. See, this mission's going real well, huh? <laughs> Everything's going just as we planned. Step one, quibble. <laughs> the, the crazy amounts of growth, though, in the, this crew. Oof, man. I wish he looked at the camera when he said that. <laughs> that would have been very meta. It's a weird moral dilemma. Carmen? Yes! Oh, <laughs> it's not quite as good as I was hoping, but at least it's honest. It's really easy to be virtuous and to grandstand on ideals while someone else does the dirty work for you. There's nothing courageous about that at all. Global warming is the real, real danger. This room is just a barrel of sunshine and joy and happiness. I'd kill you all if I had enough bullets. You are cruising for a bullet right now, lady. Yeah, I'm glad this is being directly addressed. Like, people think this is gonna be some grand change to the world in terms of, like, evil. <laughs> Your place is. Bullet. Should have never given this man power. Oh, uh, this is very direct. This is Armin's grand plan? Armin's back, everyone. I feel like Armin has a pretty good read on Flock. Getting them to do their dirty work. But I mean, it's a lot, though. It's a big ask in terms of what they're expecting them to believe. I think that's probably why Armin made that appeal to emotion. Whoops. That Ugh, this is unraveling real quick. I mean, even if they get this part done, if everyone thinks that about them... <laughs> these faces. I don't know why you'd ever think that. We also like mass death, just like you. This is a gamble. Very big gamble. Ern would be proud. 
Flying boat. Oh, it's not a blimp, it's a legit airship. Solid, mid card. Informative, not too heavy. Yes, Flock. Yes, Flock. Everything you're thinking is correct. Please do not bullet me. <laughs> uh. What just happened? Wait, that was a Flock shooting. Someone just shoot... Wait, what? Why? Who fired the gun? No, wait. No, no, no. Someone else. What you what you jujitsu him? Damn. I like the immediate fear at seeing Mikasa. That's respect and correct. Oh no, it's all gone wrong. Step one, have your plan immediately fail. Yes, <laughs> it has. Ah. I mean, they tried. Whoa. <gasps> Transform now. now, 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 now. I said now. Now. Oh, God, that hurts. Oh, I'm so on edge right now. Armin needs to transform, but I feel like he can't because Connie's right next to him. Connie also is at gunpoint. I have a really bad feeling. Here we go. Ooh. It does seem amazingly awesome to see them two transforming side by side like that. Wow. A long time no see, Mikasa. Oh my god. The one punch triple takeout. Trademark. Oh. Okay. Trademark kick brings back some repressed memories. Armin! Don't do it, Daz. Been through too much. Don't do it. <sighs> Connie. <sighs> oh no! Oh, that hurts so bad from Connie. Connie of all people. <sighs> that just took everything out of me. <laughs> ah, oh man, I can't believe this. <laughs> Only one episode left. We had two episodes and we spent a whole episode fighting people we grow to know. There are these colossal titans stomping around and we have this impossible seeming task of defeating or at least stopping the founding titan. But how do we spend our second to last episode <laughs> fighting former comrades? It's tough, you know, I was talking about like the simultaneous focus on what's practical with a different higher structure backing that. I think you go wrong on both extremes, you know, like if it's just about the result, it's tricky for reasons I've talked a lot about, you know, because you don't know necessarily if the outcome you're get, you're going for is even achievable. You might be doing terrible things for nothing, but also because it makes right and wrong just at the sole discretion of each individual. And each individual is gonna, just by nature, typically place their own desires over the humanity of others. But then of course the danger of like just super idealism is that it has no practical impact by itself. You know, if you are really attached to a goal, the outcome's sort of where it's at. But where that line is will depend on the individual. And I think it's a reflection that has to be made honestly. You know, there's a real psychic danger to not making that assessment honestly. You know, trying to do the right thing when you're not prepared for the consequences of that. Or if there's something else sneaking into moral reasoning, like wanting to be seen as good or actually secretly wanting an outcome that you think posturing as moral will grant you, that always backfires. It's like giving, right? Like pure giving is a beautiful thing and causes no loss for the giver. But there's this other kind of giving where there's other stuff seeping in and that gets real messy real fast when people don't get the outcome they expected and have sacrificed things they valued for the hope of things they weren't aware they wanted but are devastated by the lack of. So they made their call, they took a gamble, they tried to end this without loss of life. It didn't go the way they wanted and so they made a compromise. And it's very hard to argue they made the wrong choice, but it's definitely going to feel like the wrong choice on some level, even if it's what they needed to do. For someone like Connie, who's like the bro of all bros, this is something that he's never going to be able to undo. It hurts extra bad too because what allowed him to save Armin, was it Daz that was holding Armin at gunpoint? His hesitation based on kindness and love for Armin, you know, his good qualities and his moral conflict caused his death and gave Connie that opportunity. So that sucks. So I've heard there's going to be a movie, but before that we have one final episode of the season and it's going to be a colossal one. Mm -hmm.